Donnie, obviously, offensively, you, got a, you didn't get anything going there. Dug yourself 11 point. Holy made a run, but uh, just kind of what happened there tonight there against them. Well, it was a game of runs. I mean, give them credit. I mean, that was a team with four or five starters back from last year's team. It was one of the top two defensive teams in the country, uh, field goal percentage-wise. And, you know, I thought our guys uh, had some good looks early on. You know, we just, you know, we shot four for whatever from the three-point line. I mean, you know, we've been shooting 40% on the year. And tonight, uh, we just had some good looks. I didn't think shots went down. So, uh, but I thought our kids fought back. Uh, it had been easy to tuck our head there. We showed a little toughness defensively to get back in the game against, you know, a team that's picked middle of the pack in the Big East. You talked earlier this week to me about Isaiah's ability to keep the team on his back at times. He goes on that 7-0 run there late to pull it even. Um, and just you guys weren't able to sustain that run long enough. Uh, but can you just talk about his effort to, to kind of pull the team back in? Yeah, Isaiah Sykes, you know, him and your best player has got to be uh, at another level. And tonight, I thought yeah, him and Keith played very good. Uh, I thought Calvin played well, especially defensively. And, uh, you know, we needed that fourth or fifth guy to step up for us and make some shots and make some plays. And tonight, you know, Casey had some looks that didn't go down. So did Tristan. Um, we got to continue to find ways. Uh, you know, we go to the free throw line, eight for 16. And the free throw line, you can't shoot 50%, you know, from the line in this kind of game because every possession matters. So that's like having eight turnovers, you know. But, uh, but, you know, we had a chance, uh, you know, the score really didn't indicate what the, the final was. But, you know, it's a one-point game, and Fitzpatrick hits that big shot and takes it to four. And, you know, I thought we pushed it and got an open look by Casey, you know, there in the corner, and didn't go down. So then we had to foul. So uh, we had our chances there, and, and uh, you know, give South Florida credit tonight. The shots went down for them, and like they did for us in third place in the first game. They went 10 or 11 minutes without a field goal before that three from Fitzpatrick. Mm -hmm. Um, did that kind of just because it had been so long since they hit a field goal when that three went down, it kind of just felt like the wind of the comeback just kind of came out? Yeah, it can. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, they got some rebounds there. Uh, in one possession there for two minutes, they had the ball. You know, you got to get those rebounds. You got to make those plays and, uh, and when you're trying to get yourself back in the game. But, uh, but, you know, I'm proud of our kids and the way they competed. I uh, thought we had a shot uh, down the stretch, and, uh, you know, that shot was a big shot for them. You touched a little bit on uh, Calvin's pressure defense, but how big of a boost is it when sometimes you know the other team struggles to get the ball even to their point guard, and just always on? He was on Collins back all night, really. Yeah, he was. You know, I thought he played with great toughness. They played with some, some great energy. I thought that disrupted what they were trying to do. That was a big part of that spurt they really kept them from scoring. But uh, it all starts with the guy who's guarding the ball, and that raises the level for the other guys. On the team. And, uh, and I thought our guys played. Uh, they had to play a lot of minutes tonight. They played a lot of minutes with their starters as well. But uh, I thought our guys uh, really competed down the stretch. Real tense on the court there. I mean, there was a tee call. Was Did it feel like a postseason? Did you have to calm your kids down or in, in, a, in a game like this with in-state rivals here? Uh, Not really. I thought our guys showed great class, showed great, great character. The technical was on Tristan on the dunk. And so he's got to learn to handle that better in, in doing that. So, uh, but, I, but I think uh, both teams were very respectful. I thought it was a competitive uh, type game. And, uh, you know, for a rivalry, I thought both teams were very respectful. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.